So the big dream, stated another way, is this. It's a group of people bound together in the single-minded purpose that there's no price too high to pay to see to it that young people have a chance to know the Savior. That's not just what young life's all about. That's all that young life's all about. Um, I joined Campaigners because all my friends went to winter camp and they came back and they were all like, oh, Rachel invited us to go to this thing called Campaigners. And I was like, oh, I want to go. To be honest, I joined Campaigners because the boy I liked went. Some of the guys in my Rockridge cabin were getting up early and all going to this one kind of meetup and I really wanted to see, check out what that was. I ended up joining Campaigners to see like what Young Life was really like. All my friends were doing it. I had just gotten back from Wildlife Rockridge and I had a really good time there. Um, really changed by going to those Thursday morning Campaigners. Well, the free breakfast was part of it. You just get such a sense of community. Conversations that I had with these people who I wasn't necessarily friends with before. Personally, the community. Like, I just love being around the campaigners a lot. Just the love you feel from people who have the same beliefs as you. It was conversations that you wouldn't necessarily have at school. My favorite part of being involved as a campaigner. Through hard times, you always had people there for you and you always had a support system who had your back. Just watching these people that you pour into uh, turning to God and accepting God. Getting to see the younger kids grow up and to be really awesome campaigners, really awesome leaders. And favorite part of being in Young Life was going to camp. Up at Pemberton or up at Rockridge are just memories that I won't forget. And I didn't come for the blob and for the fun events. I ended up coming because it's evident how powerful Rockridge is and seeing the transformations of your friends that you bring. If I could go back, I would put way more effort into going every week consecutively just because it's so important. Relationships are just so important and they keep you grounded and I think that's something that I would have loved to have more of an influence on. Go to a winter camp? Not inviting more friends. I did try a few people, but I feel like I just didn't put enough effort into it. The opportunity to show my friends uh, Young Life and show my friends God. Kind of wait till grade 12 and you're like, oh, these people never got to go to club. As a campaigner, I've definitely seen Young Life um, impact my friends. We started talking about Jesus and we started talking about faith and we started talking about uh, the real life questions. She always asks, oh, I wish I could go back, oh, I wish I could go back. Yeah, um, bringing a friend to Rockridge and seeing their life transform. I remember just being in the room on the final night and us just like hugging each other and crying. How drastically people's lives changed. And I can still have conversations with them now today about God and they respect the talk. Pro tip. While you're in grade 12, just take the opportunity. As a campaigner, investing in other campaigners. To show your friends that you're there for them. To invite people. But just don't care what people think of you. But like I said, the worst they could say is no. 